Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a lens warp distortion vibe that will create a cloning effect onto your videos. We already have some stock footage, so first we need to put together a mirror effect. Now, there's two ways of doing this. The quicker way and much more common way, which I'm sure if you have some experience in Premiere Pro, you probably already know this, and that is applying the mirror effect onto your footage. It's pretty easy. You could find it under the distort folder. The way I'm going to do it is a bit different, but it has more flexibility. It's a great alternative and it's just good to know, but there's no right or wrong way of doing this. So we have our footage, so let's go ahead and copy and paste the footage on top of the original. We want to make sure that both copies are parallel and in sync. Next, we are going to go to the effects search bar, find horizontal flip and apply it onto the top layer of footage. After that, we are going to adjust the position to where you feel most comfortable. I'm going to adjust it to about 2300. Next, we are going to look for the crop effect and apply it on the top footage again. And we will tweak it to where it perfectly aligns with the layer underneath. And now we have a mirror effect. The reason I chose this route is that now you have a mirror effect where you could edit two layers instead of one. So if you wanted to apply something like a blur effect or whatever you want to one of the clips but leave the other, you can now do so. So if you want to do that, go ahead and do that now. Otherwise, we are going to continue by highlighting both clips. Uh, right click and choose Nest. Name it to whatever you want. I'm just naming mine Test Footage 2 and select OK. And our two clips are now merged back into one. We're now going to search for lens distortion and apply it. We will then see the controls panel that the effect has given us a few options to work with. We have curvature, vertical decentering, some prism effects. So we're going to monkey around with these tools for a bit. For curvature, let's adjust it to about, um, let's say about negative 32. For vertical decentering, when we adjust it, we get that cool warped effect we are looking for. Adjust it to where you think it would look best on your footage. So it's looking great, but now we're left with a blank alpha space on the right hand side. And we want to get rid of that. So we are going to repeat everything we just did again. So we will copy and paste the footage, drag it over, search for horizontal flip, apply it onto the top layer, then adjust the position to where you want to fill the blank space on the bottom layer, and search for crop. And cut it to where it splits evenly on both layers. Highlight both layers, right click again, and select nest. Rename it and click OK. You could leave it at that if you want, but if you want to apply some extra distortion to your clip, search up lens distortion again and apply it. Now we have to be careful with these tools because we don't want to have that random white space in our footage again. Otherwise, we're going to have to start going in circles at that point. So the best way to avoid that is to start with the curvature again. So that gives us more room to work with on the edges. You could adjust your footage to however you like. I like how mine looks already, so I'm probably going to leave mine at that. Um, and that's really it. And that's how you create a lens warp clone effect. There are different ways to try this. You could create really cool concepts with this look. And that's all we have for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this one. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Comment below your thoughts or just say hi. I'd love to connect with you guys. Have a great one.